Hey, Dan and Cheryl, this is Harmony. Um, I just want to say that I appreciate both of you and the 25 years. And I've been going to this church for six years. And since I've started working here, I've got to know both of you on a personal level. And I just respect you both so much. And just thank you for being my teachers and mentors and encouragers. What do you think about the uh, Dan and Cheryl being here 25 years? Who? Uh, Dan and Cheryl, Dan Cox. Pastor? Not ringing a bell. <laughs> so you've been here 25 years? 25 years? Yep. That means I was like two when you started working. <laughs> That's a long time. Hey, guys. Speaks on the weekends? Oh. I thought that was Pete. Or no, Paul. I thought that was Paul. Is that Paul? Uh, Dan. It's Dan. Oh, well, congratulations, whoever you are. <laughs> Um, Dan and Cheryl have made all the difference in my marriage and my family, uh, but mostly my husband's life because if we hadn't found this church, I don't know what would have happened. We consider it our church home and we love it. Thanks Dan and Cheryl for 25 years. Um, the reason that Dan and Cheryl are so special to me is um, because first of all of their their down-to-earthness and sincerity, their humility um, and love for God, um, their, their love for His people, um, their support, and they've just been such fun people um, as well as great people to work with just in how much they encourage you to um, be who God's called you to be. They allow you to um, enlarge and expand your ministry as you feel like God has shown you to and um, I appreciate their friendship, um, their grace. They're such people of grace and humility and they have truly impacted my life and been a huge part of my life for the, about the last um, 15 years and it's been such a joy to serve, uh, serve them and serve alongside of them and they're just precious and very special to my life. Um, Tom and I have known Dan and Cheryl for mm, 13 years. Um, we came to Grand Junction and we were uh, shopping for a church and we came to the service and uh, Dan invited us to the uh, Valentine's dance that they were having. and. Um, so Tom and I went and we sat at Dan and Cheryl's table and we got well acquainted with them. And that evening they sent us to um, Marge Cox's small group. And, and um, we've just been friends of Dan and Cheryl's for all this time. They've, they've blessed us with friendship and lots of laughs and lots of smiles and oh by the way they have this TV camera in our household because they obviously have to because um, every sermon is directed directly at us. Um, I don't know how they do that. I don't know how they watch all the TV cameras that they have in everyone's houses but they obviously do. Um, seriously, um, I just appreciate the fact that Dan is a man who listens to God and speaks God's word directly to the congregation. And he, his uh, words have blessed us over the years. Cheryl's encouragement has blessed us over the years. They've been wonderful friends and um, really marvelous uh, pastors to Tom and I. They've led us and shepherded us just like pastors are supposed to. I remember when we first set foot in the vineyard in 1995 and I heard Dan say that he was a used car salesman. I was like, ooh, a preacher, a used car salesman. But now I've seen after all these years that you're just honest and you're sincere and what we see is what we get with you. And Cheryl, you're just such an encouragement um, to me and to Jean and you have been and just always your humor and just the way that you come across to what we see is what we get and that means so much to us so we want to see you another 25 years in ministry bless you guys they mean a lot to me they're obviously first off my pastors um, and when Joe had his accident 
they were instrumental. They were there at the emergency room with us, and um, it was a huge, huge thing to have them be right there for me. And we love Dan's preaching. He's most anointed when he's in that pulpit, and uh, he's taught us a lot, and we've learned a lot from him and through him. Hi, Dan and Cheryl. Um, I haven't been at this church for very long, about a year now. Um, but the reason that we came here and stayed here, uh, Dan, your inspirational messages um, continue to uplift us and keep us going every day. We met both Dan and Cheryl at the Connect 101, both very inspirational people. We love you both. Johnny, what do you think of Dan and Cheryl in 25 years of being here? I think it's good. Um, they've done very well, great leadership. As um, long as I give him his agenda ahead of time, he does pretty well. Um, he follows directions well. She keeps him in line. Um, that scooter, you got to be careful. She does zero to 50. Uh, she needs a whole louder horn on that thing. <laughs> no, seriously. Thank you, Dan and Cheryl. We love you guys to death. And thank you for your leadership and your spiritual mentoring. And look forward to another 25. Love you guys. Dan and Cheryl, thank you so much for everything you do for this church. Um, you are just an incredible blessing, and I know my family and I love being members here at CVVC. Congratulations. Thanks. So, Paul, what do you think of Dan and Cheryl's 25 years? 25 years? No way! They, they must have started when they were 12. <laughs> Alright, we gotta do something else, because that was goofy. So what did Dan and Cheryl mean to you? Um, Dan and Cheryl have been an absolute blessing to Lene and I. That um, w when you get into ministry, you wonder if you have a call on your life, and, and you wonder if if there's even an opportunity for you to use your gifts that that you feel like God has placed in you. And to have somebody like Dan and Cheryl come along and um, confirm what 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 God has placed in your heart changes the world. Um, that, that even today when I, when I sit and, and before I get the opportunity to, to speak or, or to do ministry here at, at the church, I literally sit there and I just think this is all a, a, a blessing from what Dan and Cheryl has opened up their heart for Lene and I. And in reality, when you look at all the people that come to our church, it's for one reason, because they took a risk and they let God work in them and that the reason that God gets to work through me at Canyon View Vineyard Church is for one reason, because Dan and Cheryl took a risk on Lene and I. And uh, we just keep hoping that it'll pay off for them. <laughs> hey, Dan and Cheryl, congratulations on 25 years. Thanks for making this such a wonderful church to be a part of. Congratulations, Dan and Cheryl, for your 25 years. You've meant so much to my wife and I, and this church has also. Thank you. Congratulations, Cheryl and Dan, for 25 years of being at this wonderful church. And I just, I thank you for all the teaching, the modeling, the examples you've been to both Scott and myself and our family. And um, continue to pray for you, for God's guidance and blessings as you continue to, um, to lead this church and these people. And just want you to know how much we appreciate you. God's blessings and congratulations. Dan and Cheryl, I'm so thankful for your wonderful hearts and your dedication to ministry. So many people have been touched um, through God by you. Um, I'm personally blessed by your leadership and the vision you offer to the church. Um, so just thank you for your dedication, for your obedience, and for the many lives um, that have been changed. Um, may God bless you both. Uh, wow, Dan and Cheryl, I guess we're talking about 25 years in ministry and um, I was thinking about 25 years ago what I was doing. I wasn't in ministry, and uh, you probably don't want to know what I was doing 25 years ago, but I was I was riding Harleys back then, but it was uh, for different reasons. I find it kind of funny, 25 years later, here I am uh, with both of you and been here with you guys in this church now for about uh, 12, 13 years, believe it or not. And you guys have survived me, so uh, there's another celebration. Um, I am so happy for both of you. I pray for uh, many more years. Um, I also want to tell you guys that when I was in Orlando in February of this year, I asked Bill Hybels on the very last day, Dan, you probably remember I went back into the, uh, 
to the uh, auditorium where we were having the uh, National Leaders Conference there. I waited for Bill Hybels to get by himself and I asked him if uh, he would mind giving a video uh, congratulations to you and Cheryl. Uh, although Bill was, uh, he was willing to do that, uh, the unfortunate side of somebody in his, his uh, status, um, he couldn't do any kind of videotaping without getting a bunch of people involved. But he did give me permission to convey to you, uh, congratulations and God bless you for 25 years of service in the kingdom and uh, may you have many more. And that comes from me as well. Once again, I love you guys and uh, just uh, thank you for everything you've done, not just for me, but for the kingdom. Keep it up too. All right, we'll see you later. 25 years. 25 years. I've been alive 27 years. You've been doing ministry since I was a guppy. A wee one. 25 years. I don't even know if there's 25 books in the Bible. I don't know if you should be too confident in your youth pastor now either. Because he doesn't know much about the Bible. 25 years. Hi, Dan and Cheryl. It's Giselle. I uh, just want to say congratulations on uh, leading this flock for 25 years. And um, it's an awesome thing. And we've been with you for eight years. We started out in the Chrysler Cathedral on North Avenue um, right about the time you were going to five services. And it was uh, exciting and and uh, we were ready to help you when you did your building project because we had just done that at Evergreen where we come from. So thanks again so much. Um, we ask for many more blessings for you as you lead us in the future. Thanks. Hey, Dan and Cheryl, congratulations on your 25 years of ministry here at the Vineyard. Thank you for being examples of faithfulness. Thank you for remaining true to the call of God. Through the ups and downs, heartache and joy, times of fruitful blessing or times in the wilderness, you have remained steadfast. Thanks a lot. God bless you. Dan and Cheryl, I want to thank you for 25 years of great service to this valley. You have made a difference. Thank you, first of all, for being who you are and being who you are in my life. Um, you've been a wonderful mentors, teachers, um, encouragers, and my life is the richer for knowing you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Good morning. Can you view in your church? This is Nyla. May I help you? Oh, hi, Marge. Sure, just a moment. Dan, your mom's on line one. Thanks. Bye. Good morning, Can You Be Vineyard Church? This is Karen. How may I help you? Okay, certainly. Just a moment, please. Cheryl, you have a call on line six. Cheryl, you have a call on line six. Oh, hi. Thank, Thank you, you for, for your 25, 25 years, years of, of service. service. We, we love, love you guys. guys. Hi, Dan and Cheryl. I just wanted to um, let you know how much you've meant to us over the past 20 years. Uh, from the time when we first met you, when you married us, Dan, and you had to put up with Larry trying to get you to wear the sunglasses, and at the time you wore those great big thick glasses, and you thought you were going to fall so you couldn't wear them, and he kept bugging you about it, but we appreciate you doing that. And then when you guys helped us through the hard time of losing our son, and then we started coming to church here, and you encouraged us so much, and you've helped us through the years to learn and grow and I just wanted you to know how grateful we are to have you in our lives. Hi Dan, Cheryl, just want to say thanks for 25 years. I, you know, it's been a blessing to be a part of your church for this many years and it's just been a real blessing to me and my family and we just give you thanks. And we just uh, say God bless you and how many more years you're gonna be with us. We just count the years that we have to have with you and it's just a blessing to us. Thank you Dan, Cheryl. Hey Dan and Cheryl, congratulations on 25 years and uh, Usually I'm funny, but this time I want to be serious. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for leading us to the Lord. I know that Tamar and I and our entire family would not know the Lord if it wasn't for you and your faithfulness. 
thank you and many more years. Hi, Dan and Cheryl. Congratulations on 25 years of um, pastoral life here. And um, who, who knew? You know, we started out as uh, young people years and years ago all together. And, and who would know that uh, here would be 25 years later? So I just really wish you the best. I love both of you. You're not only um, dear, dear friends, but you're also, I consider you like my, my boss and my mentor. And um, just congratulations and best wishes. I love you. In 1999, I moved to Grand Junction and I was to go to school and I was going to look for a church for the first time. And I visited one church and then I visited the vineyard. And by the next time the weekend came around, I was I so needed to be fed. I was planning on going and visiting other churches, but I just couldn't. I came back to the vineyard because I knew I'd be fed there. And so I just want to say thank you, Dan and Cheryl, for creating a place where people are fed um, spiritually. We really appreciate all that you have done. Thank you. If it wasn't for you guys, Jeff and I would just be in the rocky roads right now. So thanks so much for making such a, a welcoming, comforting place to come worship. Good job. Dan and Cheryl, I uh, just want to congratulate you on 25 years of ministry. Uh, obviously, this church wouldn't be here without you. And uh, my wife and I would just like to say thank you very much for your dedicated leadership. And uh, again, without both of you being here, uh, we wouldn't be here. So bless you. Thank you very much. And uh, again, congratulations. Hey, Dan and Cheryl. Thanks for 25 years of committed, dedicated, wonderful service. Anyhow, yeah, Dan, I tell you, the thing that I appreciate about you is uh, uh, you're the one guy I know who will drive to Las Vegas for a hamburger. And Cheryl, queen of the driest sense of humor ever, and tons of words to live by, and uh, oh yeah, Dan, thanks for marrying me and Renee. It worked out real good. Thanks a lot. Okay, am I on? Am I on? Can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay, good. I uh, just wanted to come to a familiar place um, to, to give my greeting to you, Dan and Cheryl. And I want to do this real briefly if you want to pull out your bulletin. Inside your bulletin is the handout the church has provided. And on the handout are the five truths we've witnessed from the Cox's ministry. Five truths we've witnessed from the Cox's ministry. Number one, leadership. How excited we are to follow such incredible leaders. The places you have been, the things you have taught us, the places you have taken us through your leadership is truly something that is phenomenal for each one of us, and I thank you for that. Lesson number two, one of the truths we've, le we've learned, is about long-suffering. Oh, sorry, longevity, longevity. So few pastors make it in one place for as long as you two have made it here, 25 years.